Hey what's up everybody my name is Trophynet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that much difficulty. Last time we gathered our allies for the uh, upcoming battle here at Kaer Morhen and oh I think I saw a falling star there, shooting star. Uh, and as promised I'm gonna do uh, another scavenger hunt today, the ones for uh, the upgrade parts of the wolf school gear. You might be wondering why am I looking for the part two of the upgrade diagrams well part two is uh, located every diagram located in part two is actually found in Kaer Morin and the surrounding areas the uh, part one scavenger hunt is actually not right over here so we're gonna do that after we found have found the steel sword trousers and gauntlets upgrade diagram but the steel sword we kind of already found if you remember when we did the uh, woven gear the standard woven gear uh, we got our way up to that chest over there and that's where the enhanced steel sword is found in and I think I should be able to run around here instead of the awkward other way that I did before and it should be inside this chest there we go steel sword enhanced found already and now we're gonna head towards the trousers so see you guys there in a second so I warp towards the lakeside hut and it's only a short jog from uh, that little cabin it's on a tiny island I'm not sure why Gerald is walking slowly like that I'm gonna make him jump a bit to get a move on and it's on a very tiny island just off the shore that one over there there we go sliding into the water as an elegant nymph oh no nope, there we go okay so it should be yeah there's the marker hmm. might want to look around some and then we might be able to find something oh, corpse whatever mutilated it sure monster slayer Use your witcher senses to find out what's killing drowners near the lake. Oh, and there's a chest by the way. Down in the water. There we go, enhanced woven trousers. I'm gonna quickly do this quest as well now that we're at it. Use your witcher senses to find out what's killing drowners in the area. Another drowner, even more mangled. Okay. Seems to be something sleeping over there. There we go. There's an entrance to a cave on the Troll. eastern side. I haven't seen one this big in a while. Gotta be ancient. Okay. Something tells me it got a little angry. Ooh. So let's see what this rock troll will do. Probably nothing good. So troll mutagen, cave troll liver, and troll hide. Interesting. Okay. Guess our friendly troll detests drowners. Yeah, he ate him up pretty. Guess grossly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Gerald. Thank you. 
Might want to move on. So there's this, one Oren. A bucket with a rune stone, and then there's this old letter. letter. Troll looked to be pretty good with his hands, but I'd never suspect he could write. All those chosen by the professor should be present outside to keep at the designated time. Tardiness, failure to bring the proper equipment or insubordination will be punished with death. We shall mount our principal attack on Kaer Morhen with our Frightener. Gaining mastery of the keep should not present much of a problem for we have heard only a handful of witchers remain in residence there. Therefore you must make haste of 50 Orin's rewards awaits you for every mutant head you sever. Once we have taken the witcher's secrets we must separate in order not to attract attention every one of you will then be left to find your own way back to Vizima, where we will reunite. Azar Javed. Plan of attack for the fortress. Not how I remember it. Troll must have nabbed the owner of these before he could reach the fortress. Seems we owe this troll a lot. And we killed it, which is kind of sad, but uh... So he actually stopped one of the main attackers of uh, Kaer Morhen from... And in the first game from in The Witcher 1, at the beginning of the game... I told you already that they were attacked at Kaer Morhen at the beginning of the game. And the troll apparently nabbed one of those suckers. So, I'm gonna head back to the scavenger quest. So we only need to find the gauntlets upgrade diagram, so see you guys in a second. So in the southern tip of the map, uh, pretty high up in the mountains, there's a cave opening, apparently. And I shouldn't be able to find what I need around here, so I'm gonna have to walk around the mountain here to find the entrance. Okay, thank you for that. There we go. And there should be a marker outside. Yeah, a woven marker. There we go. And in here we should find ourselves some gauntlets. Well, the diagram at least. Hello? Hello? Because you might remember this cavern from when we uh, fought the fork tail with Lambert, because I left the gauntlets here as well. There we go, so these are the ga gauntlets, the woven gauntlets. And that's part two. I don't think there's anything in here anymore, no. So uh, I'm gonna head back, and then we're gonna head towards the Novigrad area, because that's where the rest of the enhanced woven gear diagrams are rumored to be stashed so see you guys there in a minute a funny thing just happened the first upgrade diagram the silver sword upgrade diagram is actually located inside of crow's perch and it looks to even been hidden in the back of the building where the baron resides or is this in the garden? Ooh, there's a well here. Okay. Never noticed that here. Hmm. Might want to there's look a tiny some. wolf symbol etched in the side here. So let's use the ladder and drop down. Huh. Now would you look at that. There's a cavern below Crow's Perch. And there's a chest, so no meteorite ingot, which is really nice. I'd actually need that to craft what I need. Let's head a bit deeper. That was a bit too deep. I might as well use Cat, right? There we go, that's better. Seems to be stuff around here. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, here's a, a chest underneath the walkway. Nope, that's not it either. Oh, and a chest over here. Closer. Out of pearl and pearl. Huh. There's one over there as well. Ah, there we go. 
Oh, another one over here. Ooh, this place is full of chests. Thank you. Uh, now I have to get back up. I'm not gonna make you look at that, so uh, I'll see you guys at the location of the boots upgrade diagram again in a minute. So it started from Benek and I headed north. And I actually found another marker over here. There's another cave here. So let's see if I can find my way inside. There we go. I did disable cat because, uh, yeah, okay, there goes the darkness again. Yeah, I should probably check out the icon at the the emblem. Hmm. I want to look around some. Let's ignore the drowned dead for now. Let's check inside for the boots. Okay, there's two entryways over here, and it's a bit dark. Is there something hiding in here? As it sounds like it is. There we go, enhanced woven boots. We're right at the end of the cave here. Doesn't seem to be anything else. So uh, I'll see you guys at the chest armor upgrade diagram in a minute. And for the last diagram, the chest armor upgrade diagram, I'm heading, uh, well, I'm swimming towards this dreary little island south of uh, Fike Island. That's Fike Island over there where we uh, had uh, the rat tower and everything, where we got the lamp from Kira. And it should be around here. It looks like, looks like it's guarded, so I'm going to... Okay, there we go. Drowners! Okay! Igni takes care of that. And there we go, guarded by lots of drowners apparently. And that's not it. But I'm gonna loot everything around here. So... Apparently this also is not the guarded treasure. Blood smeared notes. That's probably the start. Small isle with ruins of a bridge built of red brick. That's the spot. Traces of a camp left on the isle. We'll need to dive down among the submerged ruins. Chest visible among them. So yeah, I saw the oh, chest over there. So let's open the chest. It's not this one. There's something over here. Still no upgrade diagrams, but this might be it. Yeah, there we go. The enhanced armor. Uh, I'm gonna head back up because there are a lot of drowners down here. But I'll see you guys as usual in Oxenford to craft this uh, lovely armor. Back in Oxenford, I think it looks like the sun is going down. So might be close to uh, closing time for the blacksmith, but let's see about the armor first. Greetings again. Thank you. Greetings again to you too. Craft something for me. Oh, that's fantastic. Still sounded like a conversation of sorts. So uh, enhanced woven boots, no problem at all. After that. The enhanced woven armor, also another problem apparently. So let's close those and then the enhanced woven gauntlets. Okay, so we're missing leather scraps as I thought. I think I have a few things to dismantle though. Uh, dismantle. So try and dismantle this skeleton, skelic acaton. There we go, that's a start. And then the cured might want to dismantle bear hide, no, but the deer hides 
dismantle all of those and then the goat hides as well. And then, then I can dismantle the cured leather into leather scraps. So let's give me 20 of those. There we go. And continue building our gear, upgrading our gear, is what I should say. So, enhanced woven gauntlets. No problem whatsoever for the rest of the ingredients. And then the trousers. Enhanced woven trousers, there we go. Not a problem at all. Thank you. So long. Let's pay a visit, a quick visit to the blacksmith as well. Hopefully he's still in business at this time. He's still hammering. Ah. Crafting, crafting. Will you cut? Will you cut? Yeah, he will cut. So no crossbow again, so let's go for the woven sword enhanced. Will woven silver sword enhanced. So I'm missing two meteorite silver ingots and a monster egg for the silver sword. And then the enhanced steel sword. No problem at all. There we go. So I think it was meteorite, right? Meteorite, silver ingot, and a monster egg. So let's dismantle or craft those as well. Let's start with crafting. Meteorite, silver ingots. Meteorite, silver ingot. There we go. You have two meteorite ingots. There we go. That's that. And then I need to dismantle one of the eggs I have into a monster egg. It should also not be a problem. I think I have a few harpy eggs. No, no cockatrice eggs. Those are too valuable. Wyvern eggs are also pretty rare. So harpy eggs, there we go. Let's dismantle two, just in case. And craft... Craft the enhanced silver sword. There we go. And with that done, I of course need to show this bad boy off. So uh, let's equip everything. So there we go. Uh, the most important differences are those blue stripes. I don't think there were blue stripes before. The sleeves, the beige sleeves are now completely covered with that red and black fabric. There's a pouch in the middle and a few more leather straps and of course, as usual, a few more metal studs on the leather bits. Uh, I think I kind of like it. I think I'm going to roll with this for uh, for a while because he looks really slick in this thing. Look at that. So with that done, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And for more of these guides, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course a lot of other videos and series you can find that as well on my channel so uh thank you guys enormously again for watching and i hope to see you in the next video stream goodbye